And joining me today is new Liberty Hockey recruit, Matthew Berezowski. Matt, thanks for joining me today. Thank you for having me. So Matt, first talk to me about how you just got involved in the sport of hockey. I know it's a sport that many of you uh, probably grew up playing. So talk to me about how you just got involved and uh, how long you've been playing the sport. Yeah, so when I was uh, young, my dad took me out skating when I was about three because um, I, I was born in Canada and they, they like to start young there. So um, I started skating when I was about three, started playing when I was four. Um, and so I've been playing for most of my life and it's it's a sport that's always been part of my life. So, yeah, that's, that's about how I started playing. These last couple of years, you've been playing on a juniors team, and uh, I heard that you found out about Liberty through one of your teammates, and you came right after we had prospect camp. So kind of talk to me about how that discussion went and just how you were just looking for a place to call home, and you just ended up finding Liberty, and this is obviously where you wanted to be. Yeah, yeah. So uh, a really good buddy of mine on the team who um, we actually led Bible studies together on our team. Um, he he came and visited Liberty and and he told the coaches about me and he told me about Liberty um, and uh, they the coaches asked me if I wanted to come out for a visit and I said sure I'll I'll give it a chance um, because I God was kind of telling me that there wasn't like a, a set I, I hadn't found the right place yet and so I was kind of waiting and so when I when I went out to Liberty. Um, I thought it was the the people were awesome. You know, everyone was so nice and and welcoming. I thought the campus was amazing. It's it's a big campus, and um, the hockey facilities and and training facilities are are really amazing. And so when I came out there, I, I kind of fell in love with the school. Um, and, but I still went home and I prayed about it, and I really felt that God was was leading me to Liberty. And so I thought, you know, if this is where God wants me, that's where he's going to bless my time. So, um, you know, that's what that's why I decided to come to Liberty. Well, moving into your hockey player, Parouse, you've got such a really strong leadership skill from what I've read on the ice. But from what I'm hearing now, you also have a really good leadership skill built up where you can lead the team off the ice. So talk to me really just about how you implemented your Bible study with your uh, teammate up in Canada and just how really that built you up to be a really strong leader off the ice for that group of guys that you were leading and how you think that's really going to help you when you move here and you start to build uh, chemistry with these teammates and you kind of get to do that almost every single day essentially here at Liberty. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, last year um, it was it was a, a new year, right? And I had just met this this other guy on our team. His name was Tyler, and so Tyler and I kind of talked about our faith a bit, and you know, got to know each other a bit more. And we felt that it, we should do a, a Bible study with the team. And um, you know, the biggest thing for that was we had to be leaders on the ice to be leaders off the ice, like you said. And so you know, leadership on the ice starts with working like the hardest in practice and, and being, you know, a guy that they can count on in the game. And so, you know, we'd, we'd always work hard. We'd always be encouraging on the ice. And, you know, we try and show the kind of people we are and the, the men of God that we are, um, even in the locker room. And, and so that the guys res respect us and, and they know that we are, you know, uh, good people and, and we care about them. Right. And so, um, from those relationships um, on the ice and even off the ice in the locker room, we were able to, you know, talk to guys about coming out to a Bible study. Um, and, and our first group was about five or six guys. Um, and at some point during the year, I think we had 12 guys um, at a Bible study. And it, it was really cool to see that because, um, you know, a lot of guys, you know, weren't, weren't pursuing their faith, but it was really cool to see a lot of guys kind of come around and, um, you know, I don't think it was mine or, or Tyler's doing. I think it was all God orchestrated um, because he he really wanted to reach the hearts of of the guys on the team. Well, that's really exciting to hear. And just seeing that you've been able to lead a group of guys off the ice is really awesome. And we definitely can't wait to have that here with you coming into Liberty. But also I want to talk about your playmaking ability on the ice. 
from what I understand, you are a playmaking player. You don't mind getting really tough to get the puck back and fighting for any chances you can get to win. And I know that hockey is a very physical sport. So talk to me about that and just some things that you've worked on to get better. I know one thing that you've been working on is uh, main, uh, working on your shot a little bit more and kind of fine tuning that a little bit as a defensive player. So talk to me about that and just kind of what you're looking forward to to learn when you get here from the coaching staff, from Kirk and, and all these other groups, but also just from the team as well that they're gonna teach you and build you up every single day, even on and off the ice here. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So, I mean, for me, I actually, when I was younger, I was one of the smaller guys um, because I was a bit of a late bloomer. And so from that, I, I learned a lot of, you know, really useful skills and, and you know, character qualities um, that helped me to be stronger once I grew and kind of caught up. And so, you know, I, you know, I really take it seriously when it comes to, you know, hanging on to the puck and letting no one take it off me and, and really battling hard and, you know, the along the wall and, you know, anywhere on the ice to, to win puck battles. And so, yes, like the physical, physical game is definitely a part of it. And um, one, uh, one thing that I've also really worked on um, has been my skating um, because, you know, as, as a bigger defenseman, a lot of times guys, you know, skating sometimes lacks. And so, you know, I thought if I want to be, you know, a, a high level, you know, hockey player that skating is going to be one of the most important things. And so I, I worked on my skating a lot. Um, and then, you know, past few years, I've also worked on my shot, like you said, um, because, you know, being able to get that puck through like guys from the point, you know, get it, make sure it gets to the net. That's really important as a defenseman. And so, you know, I, I try and be as offensive as possible while being defensively sound. Um, and I, I'm definitely really excited to be coming to Liberty because something that I am, you know, really trying to work on right now is, um, you know, just acceleration and, and those little like speed and like agility, um, you know, movements. And so I, I, I think that Liberty has the right tools and the right people that are going to be able to help me in, in that, in that, um, you know, in that pursuit. Well, finally, before I let you go, what is one thing that you're really looking forward to as you set foot on campus? I know probably something that comes into mind is we are about 70 days away from your first game here at the LIC. So I know that's probably exciting to think about. But is there any other thing about Liberty that you're just really excited to really get going when you first get here? Yeah, so I mean, I, I'm, I'm really excited about just, well, one, getting back into school because I, I took a couple years off, you know, in between high school and, and university. And so uh, I am excited to get back into school, but I'm also really excited to see, um, you know, the, the faith aspects of the school um, because I, you know, from talking to people and, and hearing about the school and reading too, it's just, it seems like faith is a, is a really big part of the school. And uh, that's really exciting for me. And I really want to build those relationships with people on campus and with, you know, faculty and, and, you know, anyone in the area, because, you know, relationships, I think are important, important part of our faith um, and, and life too. So um, I'm really excited to be building those um, Christian relationships and get into fellowship. And yeah, I think it's going to be an awesome, just an awesome time. So. Well, Matt, we definitely can't wait to get you here on campus. I know it'll be really exciting to finally have all of you guys here. That way we can actually meet in person. But we do hope yeah. that you have a good rest of your summer. And we definitely can't wait to meet you here when first week of practice starts. And it was great catching up with you, my man. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. I, I really appreciate you taking the time to talk with me.